Well, welcome back to the Bald and the Beautiful today. We are here with um I well I don't know who they are. <laughs> We are here with the people. Oh, it's like um, we're the ventriloquists, and these are the Geppettos. <laughs> like Pinocchio and Geppetto, right? Wait, do, do you know what I'm talking I know. about? So Geppetto makes the puppets. Behind every great woman is an even better man. That's sexist. Yes. Well, isn't Rasputin puppets? Rasputin, isn't that his name? Oh, um, what is it called? Svengali. You're the you're the Svengali to our um, a stars on uh. I'll take it. Yeah, Svengali, oh it's a person who, like, controls you, influences you, like, guides Something you need to know about us is all of our references are current. <laughs> <laughs> current in the zeitgeist. Rasputin, Zeng- Svengali. No. <laughs> um, basically, we're here with Jeff McCubbin and Ron Hill, who are the superstar editors of our wonderful web show. Uh. And today we're going to be in a takedown piece yeah. of ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Because oh, yeah. we get all the credit for this show and we don't deserve it. Mama, we don't do jack shit. Nothing. We, sometimes I do less than nothing, and then you guys have to fucking wizard that shit into gold. What's I, the most shocking? Oh, God. I don't think you guys give yourself enough credit. I, I no. think I'm guilty of that. No. <laughs> she gives herself plenty of credit. I don't deserve any of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, we haven't canceled in a while. That's big. Showing up is 100% of the job. I almost canceled the other day. <laughs> I know you did, and she does this thing where she's like, <laughs> Should we? And I'm like, say it, say it, say it, say it. And then she doesn't. Say yeah, it. yeah, it's like Beetlejuice. Like yeah. I would need to say it three times. I'll say it twice. Candy and then man. she's like, yeah. you don't have to talk to Barbara. Just say it. <laughs> and I refused. I'm literally the third Candyman. One. Instead of a hook, I've got like the cancel button, and I'm just like right there in the mirror waiting for you. It's you with Starburst. Yeah, <laughs> do it. <laughs> um, so you edit our show. We do. We act in your show. Oh. Yeah, acting. Yeah. What's up with that? Yeah, like, what's that all about? Like, how do you do that? What goes through your head? Do you love it? (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) I don't even know where to start. I know. Well, How do you get this job? I know. When did you start, Ron? I started as a night shift assistant editor, and it was my first job out of college. Night shift assistant editor? Yeah. I knew nothing about drag race. I knew nothing about drag. Um, And I just sort of, like worked as a night so you were like the album. matt damon in the goodwill hunting like you were like the janitor who like wandered in yeah and but, solved all the stuff but less problematic and just oh, like matt oh, damon yeah. you just stopped saying faggot <laughs> and thank god for your Took daughter who did that treatise and really like educated you because and it's the fact that it was nine pages if it had been eight no <laughs> it was nine pages. no i don't know no. how long it was <laughs> no. he was like, i think was treatise a, was a figure of speech i just don't understand why you would even of course it's horrible but i'm also like why would you tell people i just stopped saying yeah. it Two days ago, he, because he is a movie star that is is a white man. Well, I mean, before he was on that show where he was like telling a black woman like how oh, like Project Greenlight, how, yeah, on Project Greenlight, uh, like telling her how diversity should work. Like yeah. so, he yeah he he's been dumb has, shit. He has had some, but I want to know what's the original thing he said. Like, what did he say? It and I want to hear the joke. Matt Demon. <laughs> What's the joke? Oh, it's probably just like, uh, pass me the potato salad, faggot. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? It's it's probably just as innocuous just like, as that. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I hope it was like, um, I hope it was like T.S. Madison. Faggot. Ooh. <laughs> Queen. At, at the drive-thru. <laughs> yeah, at the drive-thru. <laughs> yes. Well, he is from Boston, so he probably says the R word regularly. You know, the F star. He, you know. There's a lot of R wording in Boston. For sure. Oh yeah, and it's not like they're they're in another timeline in terms of like the political correctness um, education. The witches were just hung yesterday. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they're in a totally another timeline. Where are you from? Where are you from? Baltimore. Oh, oh God. I mean, yeah, they're pretty bad. Too. Yeah, <laughs> and you're right? New Hampshire. So I, yeah. New Hampshire. So where, 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 where New Hampshire? Uh, Springfield. It's like a town of a thousand people. Oh uh, wow, is that where they Nightmare on Elm Street? Less like way off the beaten path. Okay. Yeah, you Nightmare. grew up on a farm. Yeah, my parents have animals. Like what kind of animals? animals? Pigs, chickens. Uh, they stopped having the pigs once the bears got the pigs. Uh, Do you have bears, or the bears came from outside? They're wild. Oh, <laughs> yeah, wild the bears, bears get them. Uh, where in there? They had like a little outdoor pig pen, and it only got one of them, and then the other was like traumatized. Oh, sh- they probably that pig probably saw the other that pig, pig get, watched the other yeah, pig get, get pig s- get skewered. Yeah. When now were, were, were you? Did you uh, see the remains Sounds of like the pig? Something. <laughs> I just think of the old episode. Like, oh, the pigs are just getting it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, checkers. Dog. Checkers is just getting checkers it. Checkers just getting it. 
<laughs> watching my dog get murdered, my neighbor. He's just getting it. <laughs> Anyways, bye. <laughs> well, did they really, he really fuck up that pig? Oh, yeah. Yo, I th- she just like carried it off, like into oh. the woods. Oh, like, that's good. Own. Yeah, <gasps> that's good. That's oh. preferable. And maybe they're friends now. I don't know. Yeah, that's, remember Charlotte's Web? It happens. <laughs> oh, no, I hope it was like, I hope it was like, I almost called it We're Here, but it's called It Follows. <laughs> I wish We're Here was It Follows. Oh. The part where she's standing there and the hair gets like pulled up and oh, she's like yeah. lifted up. Or Nell, that pig is brought into the woods to learn how to be wild, <laughs> yeah. you know? So how long have you been actually, wor- that means you've been working on the show for one, two, three, four, eight years? Uh, I've been at WOW for like eight years, I think. And then really? like the show almost has been like- Since 2016, 2015? Five so years? When, six. Six? Six oh, years. Oh God. It's a long time. It's a long time. No, it's not six years, is it? Yeah. That's three times longer than Seinfeld. So it's like one season a year? Yeah. Are you ready to have, would you guys participate in a Friends-style reunion on HBO Max in about 30 years? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll be in an urn. But only for for Friends money. Yeah, that's true. This is ignorant. Did they get paid to do a reunion like that? Oh. Uh, They're going to get a lot of money. Of course they Courtney do. Courtney Cox finally mind? got nominated for an Emmy. For that? For doing the reunion. Uh, Are you serious? Yeah, she's the only Friends actor that didn't get ever get nominated. Oh, so it was a sympathy nod? Yeah. Or a sympathy yeah, nomination? So. That's okay. So what? They're yeah. all sympathy nod. They're, I mean, uh, get I'm never going to get one. None of us, well, you guys might get one. I'm never going to get one. Never say not. never. Never say never. They are so bogus. Like the Emmys? Idea, it's, yes, it's like the drag pageants where they're like, they say it's her year. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? So it means these people can't win because it's per- their yeah. year. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't, and I want to know what Amy Adams and Glenn Close did. And also, when you win over and over for the same thing, it gets a little foolish and crazy. Yeah, I suppose it does. And then they give you, they have the thing where like they give you one, um, f- the the makeup Emmy or the makeup award for like the you do a shitty movie in 2010, but you should have won in 2009 for the great movie. Uh-huh. So they'll give it to you for the shitty movie. Right. Yeah. That was going to be Glenn Close and Hillbilly Energy. Oh, Hillbilly right, yeah. Energy. Glenn and Close. And she should have won for that. Um, Glenn Close, but no cigar. Yeah. <laughs> that was <laughs> her time. that year. Yeah. And she showed up in like a 25 pound gold cape. It was, you know. Mm. Although if you were nominated for an Emmy, but you know you're not going to win because there's like some juggernaut like. Nicole's nominated again for Nailed It. And she's like, I love getting nominated against RuPaul because like, I'm not going to win, yeah. but I get to go. Yeah. And then she says it's like a load off her back. Yeah. Because she doesn't have to actually worry about a speech or like. But you should have one um, because Jodie Foster didn't think she was going to win at whatever this, the Golden Globes or whatever. She won and it was on Zoom. She was in, the, in her bedroom with her uh, lesbian wife and she was just like, oh, oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, re- what? Really? Whoa! Wow! Oh, jeez! Can you what? What? And the, it was just like, just say thank you and like let it. It was so weird. That's so weird. Like fake crying about God and stuff. No, just don't mention God, but fake cry all you want, like or ugly cry, like Halle Berry in Monsters Ball. <laughs> no, I hate when they're like. I hate when. I mean, whatever. I hate when they say thank God. I'm like. Mary, God, thank and, the yeah. thank the PA on set that day before yeah. you thank God. Yeah, Mary. Yeah, thank Kathy th- Griffin told Jesus to suck it. I loved it. <laughs> I loved every <laughs> second of it. You never saw that? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God! She, when she gets her Emmy, she says, "You know, a lot of people get up here and thank God for that award, but I want to say that no one had less to do with this award than God." And then she said, "Suck it, Jesus! This award is my God now." And people were so mad. Really? That's hysterical. Yes, so mad. First, yeah, I'd like to thank our Lord and Creator the savior of all of us, the one who made this all possible. Or could you imagine if you got up there and let, thanked Allah or something? People would be so mad, but if you thank God, no one cares. They would, or yeah, or Ganesh. What about like a strange, um, like Hindi deity? Zool. Zool, yeah, yeah. You know, the best one is, you ever see uh, the best supporting actress for Nurse Jackie? I forget what her name is, but she literally Mary Weaver. Just, Mary Weaver, did you yeah. see her? She literally yeah. went up and she just went, thank you so much. I gotta go. And then just <laughs> yeah, walked <totally>. away. <laughs> yeah, that was great. And she Elaine Stritches was great. Yeah. <laughs> was she panicked? I think she's probably just nervous and yeah, just like surprised. I think she's like, I don't want to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the problem is I would get good and loaded and I would, and then I would then- Add another thing. Right. The problem is it would be that I get good and loaded and then accidentally win. And then I'm, you know, and we know that classically when celebrities are off the rails giving a speech, peop- no one ever gets worried about them. <laughs> Would you guys make I mean, faces, like, if you lost, would you make 
do that like polite clap or would oh, you be like I would storm I was at the streamies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why at the streamies? Yeah. Yeah. Grab the purse and hit the door. I, I said, Ron, get my purse. And he's like, You don't have one. I said, Get the purse. <laughs> We're out get of someone's here. purse. Yeah. That was crazy. I forgot. That was so crazy. I love the streamies, but I called her and said she called me and said do you want to do this streamies thing? Because if you do, I have to start emotionally preparing myself for that. <laughs> Just because it was like 16 hour day. But but I didn't know that. 16 hours on a bus, on a moving bus. Tell them what time we had to be on camera and drag. I think it was 8 a.m. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that means getting in drag at home. 5.30. Packing the bag, camera ready, and then leaving the house. Uh-huh. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. The things we have to go through for the streamies, although they paid us, so. They paid us, and I wanted that award. I wanted it. Yeah, I feel like looking back, it's like it's only fair that they gave it to us. <laughs> but it was the, it was a, our uh, hillbilly energy moment. They made you work for it, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they did. we'll give you this award, but you need to fucking <laughs> sixteen <laughs> grueling hours on a moving vehicle, a, like AKA a, you know. Keanu James Reeves. Charles gets hers delivered to her doorstep. Meanwhile, they're like shooting you at your feet. Damn, yeah, the yeah. Drag queens, <laughs> damn. I wish they'd been holding it in front of you on a fishing yeah. line. Like, <laughs> yeah, I seriously. Guys have been on the bus. Cameras mounted all over the walls, and we're trying to. There's literally a teleprompter, and we're like, and the next, we're in traffic, <laughs> and the next. Some of those th times where we're talking, you can see us physically like, jolt. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot. I mean, if they might as well just like shoot us out of a cannon into like a uh, pool full of piranhas next time. Oh, so then when it aired, we had a group group viewing mm -hmm. on Zoom. Remember? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I think I tuned in for about it. Two seconds. You were there, right? You were there I, for a bit. Oh, yeah, I was there, yeah. Or no, well, she wasn't there for the win, was she? No. You popped in and left. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw, were you guys gagged? Were you happy? Yeah. Were you genuinely happy? Can can I tell the truth? Absolutely. Yeah. You gave it, you told me. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and then I, I think because you, uh, what was it, Pete said don't say, or no, you said. I said, we can't, can't tell say. Ron, and she basically has a bargaining chip. If we can't tell Ron, can I tell Jeff? <laughs> that's the only way I won't tell Ron. <laughs> I can't keep a secret. But I gotta, I, I gotta, you know. I wanted Neither a pure Jeff. reaction. <laughs> did, did he tell you? Me? <laughs> But I told him to pretend like he didn't know. <laughs> so he started crying and puking. And I, was, I was, I was making, I was calling Jeff beforehand, like practicing my shocked face. Oh wow! And they were all better than the face I made during the <laughs> Zoom meeting with you guys. Were you like, I was like, oh wow! And I, no, I but I was he on literally, mute. he wouldn't he shut thought, up oh, about wow, it. He kept so talking about it, being like, I just think maybe. Do you think we'll really win? And I'm just oh, like, like, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was like, do you think? Oh, you were really, really in like, he was oh, invested. I cared. I wanted to win because I want to win, but I also wanted to win for you guys. I was uh, like, everybody here deserves to win. That's sweet. It is all we have. It is <laughs> all we <laughs> have. <laughs> was that a cry for help, Ronald? Was that a cry for help? No, it's it, it was. funny yeah. because we get credit for that show all the I time know. and you guys never get credit for it i know so. pretty much every every opportunity we have doing press or whatever i mean i always kind of belabor the point that it is really through no talent of my own i mean it, i show up in a wig and then you guys do the, all the heavy lifting no, but so. we are very lucky because i you probably couldn't name any other show youtube show where they're like who are the editors of it yeah. Where at least you guys are nice enough to mention our names and say who yeah. we are you guys are so nice to give us credit and i mean Look, we we can do the uh, editing on stuff that isn't funny in the first place, and then it feels forced, and it uh, feels like you're kind of like pulling people through. Like, like if you, people notice, yeah, if like you did Dateline, but in your ed editing <laughs> style, it probably wouldn't have the same yeah. whimsy. To catch a predator. Yeah, or like um, <laughs> remember to catch a predator. Entrapment is that still allowed? No, Entrapment, I think right? they know because the one guy committed suicide and then they stopped doing it. Oh wow! I think they should stop predators, but also I was always like, what happens to these people? They should just focus that energy on like um, catching people who are trying to swap genders to go back to the high school to like right or wrong. <laughs> what? You mean like you, you mean like never been kissed? But, yeah. But if they dressed up like a girl, so it's kind of like one of the boys meets never been kissed. No, yeah, like go undercover to get people to to find out who else is undercover because apparently everybody's doing it in high school. <laughs> I don't know. Strangers with candy. I've never you know? seen that. You've never seen Strangers with Candy? We talked about this when you were on the pod. Oh, I was already gosh. ridiculed. I was dragged through the mud. Well, let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are your favorite, what's your favorite TV show? What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite color? Oh, we know oh, your favorite, favorite movie. 
Oh, the Green Mile. <laughs> are, okay, so are we coming clean on everything right now? Okay. Yeah. I, yes. Look, you're the, a liar. The Green Mile is a phenomenal film. <laughs> yeah. It was one of a, many yes. movies on my list of yeah, yeah, yeah. movies that I enjoyed I, yeah, on yeah. OK Cupid. Uh, favorite TV show, probably Fleabag. Okay. I love Fleabag. It's great. Uh, favorite color, orange. Orange. Yeah. Mm. Uh, favorite movie, probably Lord of the Rings. Which, all of them? Return of the King. Okay. Yeah. Have you seen Old yet? No. Is, Have you? Oh, it sure fucking did. did. You live? I live. Uh, <laughs> it is probably the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. Certainly but in a fun way? It, I was not bored. Okay. It is fucking ridiculous. It is? It is outrageous. I thought, I thought it hadn't come out yet. No, it did. I think it came out what like happens? last week. I, they get old. <laughs> Mary... This on a, on this beach, family goes this, <laughs> <laughs> this family goes on vacation to a resort, right? And um, you meet these cast of characters. Everybody is like completely just their profession. By the way, it's like the doctor only sp- speaks in medical jargon. The psychologist is trying to get everybody to process, and it's it's um, so they go to this private island. Come to find out, every minute on the island is like a year. So they just start aging and dying. At the end of the movie, they're all dead and old. Hilarity ensues. There's this skinny, um, uh, stuck-up bitch who has, like, at the beginning of the movie, she's like, I have a calcium deficiency. I've got a calcium deficiency. (laughs) Uh Does this drink have calcium in it? And I'm like, okay, we get it. She's going to die of a bone thing. And um, she goes, and then her bone, like, she, Mary, it's pure camp. You'll love it. Osteoporosis? Um, She, like, hump. She develops a hump, like, in 20 minutes. (laughs) <laughs> and her like she gets old hump and then she's like uh, freaking out and she breaks her breaks an arm and then it heals right where it is because her <gasps> bo- Mary it's like but she's narrating the whole time everybody's narrating what's going on because it's like oh it seems to be that the uh, the rocks and the gravity and the thing are aging us about approximately da 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 I'm like what it's crazy whoa it is insane it's insane hump she gets a hump hump. One time I was talking to Ben Lacrem and she was talking about um she was talking about her number. She's like, I do like a quasimodo number to my humps. And I was like, So you think people with different bodies are funny? <laughs> and you know, Ben's super PC. And we were on camera and her eyes just went like <laughs> 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 And I was like, I'm just it's fine. <laughs> She's always so afraid of getting in trouble. You should like, see it though. You would love it. Oh, of course I'm gonna it's, watch it. It's kind of like uh it's not as great as Ma, but it's in that vein. Oh yeah. Somebody said it was this generation's Ma, which Mom was like three years ago. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're, we're all aging quickly, especially yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. on a beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah wow. it's good. Um, so, any uh, luck on the dating apps? Are you seeing somebody? Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, I'm single at the moment. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know. It's... Yeah, I have. I, I mean, I know plenty of girls who. What, what's your type? Do you have a type? Yes. Uh, okay, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff can tell you my type. I'm what too is, embarrassed. What is his type? He likes a girl with like a fun color hair, like a like magenta black? Oh. or something, and a girl like tat a bad girl, like bad like girl. kind of like a rockabilly <laughs> bad girl with tattoos and like. Oh, hair. I like that for you. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Maybe a piercing. Maybe like magenta hair, blunt bangs, and a couple tattoos, like a wing liner, like a Kat Von D. Yeah, yeah. criminal record. Can't- yeah, Kat Von D. I think is pretty. I had someone who like fit that description slide into my uh, match. We matched on Bumble, and she messaged me, and she was like, "I'd eat you alive, but I just wanted to let you know that I love your work." <laughs> and that was the end of the Mary, conversation. Uh, like, Mary, please eat me alive. Yeah, she I was said, like, "I'd eat you alive." <laughs> yeah. Why didn't she do it? Yeah, what's the follow up there? I know. I eat you alive, but don't I can't. threaten me with a good time. Yeah. What does that mean? Also, I'll eat you alive. Like, I my pussy will like pulverize your, shred you up. I mean, maybe it was literal, and she just didn't want to like. She wants on the continue. <laughs> oh, she I want to kill you. <laughs> We're gonna find out more about what kind of girls <laughs> likes right after, after a break. short break. <laughs> If you are looking for a therapeutic experience that you can have at the comfort of your own home, let me tell you, BetterHelp is there for you, baby. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist all in the comfort of your own home so you never even have to leave the house. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. 
You can send a message to your counselor anytime and you get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. Find the particular expertise you need online. Don't limit yourself to the counselors located near you. Licensed professional counselors who are specialized in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, trauma, anger, family conflicts, and so much more. Anything you share is confidential. It's convenient, professional, and affordable. What I love about BetterHelp is that there's no more 45-minute drives to Westwood and waiting in a dingy waiting room to see a therapist. The remote aspect of this service is incredible. I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com bald. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. This summer, get the most out of your travels abroad by learning the language of your destination with Babbel, the number one selling language learning app. From ordering in restaurants or asking for directions to gaining a deeper understanding of the culture, Babbel makes the whole process of learning a new language addictively fun and easy. With bite-sized lessons you can actually use in the real world, Babbel is a can't-miss travel essential. I downloaded the Russian version, and I love it because not only does it teach me new words and phrases, it also explains the idioms, and um, Russian is very complicated, so this is quite useful. Unlike the infamous language classes you took in high school, Babbel designs their courses with practical real-world conversations in mind things you'll get to use in everyday life. You can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, video stories, and even live classes. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to babbel.com and use promo code BALD. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com code BALD for an extra three months free. And we're back. Oh, we're back. So I have a girl for you. Um, I'll show you a picture later. I don't want to put her on blast right on the air. but Okay. Yeah. Your mom. Yeah. My mom's sister. My aunt. Yeah. She's 10 years older than my mom. I love her. <laughs> her name's Chloe Sevigny. <laughs> yeah. um, let's see. What? Um, okay. I have, a, I have a question. Yes. What kind of men do you like? Because you have, you have a man. Are you guys open? Is that too yeah. personal? No, but what fine. kind of man is in like the porn you search for? I go through I go through phases of what I like. But the last two boyfriends I've had have been Asian. So, um, But I usually like shorter and smoother mm-hmm. and uh, not white. Mm. Uh, yeah. I like that profile. Love that. Yeah. White guys <laughs> just don't do anything for me, really. Really? Not really. Well, I think when I was in Baltimore, that's like, there's just no no diversity. It's the most segregated city in the world, so it was just hard to, like, even the gay bars were, like, separated. There was, like, black gay bars, and there was Damn. white gay bars. It was crazy. Good old Baltimore. So it was just hard to, like, meet other people that didn't just look like pasty white people. Ugh. You're from an island that's the opposite of old. They Maybe. don't age. Yeah, you're, you get... How you're like, I actually Jeff got a bunch after the last, the last podcast. Old. It was when I got a lot of sexual propositions <gasps> from one Instagram. Yeah, people I saw, I looked at the comments, be like, Fuck, are you fuckable? Jeff, let <laughs> fuck those other whores. Yeah. I want to fuck I'd Jeff. Suck that box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would kill that Trixie clit. just to be able to lick his glands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh. <laughs> like just some people just straight up, just full on dick pigs, whole pigs. Like, Did just you like that. that? Mm, I mean. Not for not the first thing, anything else. The second thing, because they could be anybody's. I need to see. I mean, I I'm I, I'm attracted to a face first. Yeah. And, uh, if you're not providing a face picture on the internet, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. You're trickery, deceivery. If I want to just look at bodies, I would Google it. Cut up a cadaver. Yeah. Google. I don't know. Yeah. Just penis, penis only. And if you're not supplying conversation in a face and like making this somehow more engaging than pornography, then what are we doing? Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? Next glory hole I go to, I'm going to go with a squirtable dildo and mm-hmm. I'm going to put the dildo through and then just squirt salad dressing at them. Catch up. <laughs> what about people who say cats up? Oh, I hate that. Cats up? I don't think they say it. I think they spell it that way and then they say it differently. Wait a minute. So, so cats, do people cats say up cats up? is the correct spelling for that. It's the correct spelling of ketchup? No, 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 no. You can spell it C A T S U P. But people but don't you say, say cats catch up. Yeah, no. They say ketchup. Jail. Don't you think? Jail. 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 Federal prison. 
<laughs> when I'm is from your... Baltimore, so we say everything weird. So. Yeah, do you say you gotta go home? Home. I'm gonna go home, drink some water Fuck. in the zinc. I'm gonna wash the car, fill my car with oil. Uh, oil. That's the one I hate the most. Oil. Oil. Instead of oil. 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 My, um, my home is I had an oil leak. I gotta go wash all the 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 gnomes in my yard. Oh my god! Horrible, horrible. Yeah, what is not, that? It's not sexy. No, although the whisker one ain't that great either. Oh, Wisconsin? No, it's not good. But it has more um, pep. Yeah, it makes everyone sound really dumb, but really nice. Yeah, which yeah, it's hard to make sexy. USA is a okay. Yeah. Catch us in your mouth, I give you a prize. That sounds, <laughs> that's fun. That, that's fun. That dropped in gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Catch us in your mouth. Oh, you're cute. Oh, you're cute. Oh, yeah. you're cute. <laughs> what about the Boston accent? Um, ignorant. I mean, it's homophobic. just homophobic. Homophobic, uh, racist. Um, Catholic. Catholic. Yeah, just like pretty much it hits all the all the negative like um, buzzwords like uh, molested but can't talk about it. Don't like black folks. <laughs> don't like uh, f slurs probably gonna beat my girlfriend or wife it's like not the best thing ever but like but i love donuts. the celtics and the patriots oh, yeah, yeah that too. likes dunkin donuts yeah american runs on dunkin <gasps> i always think of on that ferry to provincetown they have that dunkin donuts right next to the ferry i think of all the donuts i could eat in there i fuck with dunkin donuts with a large I've... iced coffee with cream and sugar uh, i fuck with their donuts a yeah. lot fresh yeah fresh but like base level good yeah. it's just like a grocery store donut and that's what i like about it it's better than a grocery store yeah. donut. Yeah, fresh out the oven, chocolate it, frosting. It is like the dictionary definition of a donut. It's yeah, like it's not like a, any better. It's, it's not like any a worse. Simpsons donut. Yeah, yeah. It's not as like sweet as Krispy Kreme. You ever had Krispy Kreme fresh out the oven in Las Vegas Airport? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so much sugar. It's a lot. It's a lot of sugar. And you it can, disintegrates in your mouth. Yeah, it literally. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> what is the nutritional value there? Uh, Zero. Diabetes. It actually kills you. Yeah, right? just is it like diabetes. bacon, where it actually hurts you to eat it. No, bacon is fine. Isn't bacon, don't they always say like that, like actively takes minutes off your life when you eat bacon? I'm sure. Oh, I have some right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. eat some and let us know how you feel. No, this is turkey bacon, but no, bacon, it's good. It's not worse than a donut. <laughs> it's all in moderation, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, come on. Paula like, Dean I'll, once made a Krispy Kreme breakfast sandwich with like egg and cheese and bacon with, instead of a bread it was a Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah, then she fried it in lard and then add some M&Ms and oh my god. Do you guys miss going to the office? She guys used to edit at the office, right? At, at World of Wonder. Uh, Do you guys have water cooler talk there? Yeah, we yeah, but we still get that because we like just FaceTime each other randomly. Mm. I will say I recently moved and like two or three months before that I did feel like I was going insane because I was just living and working out of a single bedroom oh my god and Ronald, I love my I love my roommates and they like they were, it was the best possible roommate situation you could hope for but I still just like kind of stayed in my room all the time it's too much and uh finally once I moved it was like a breath of fresh air and I can I can like focus again and my cat has room to roam um what's your cat name Shelly Hobbs Hobbs yeah oh like Calvin and Hobbs yeah oh yeah. oh <laughs> um, <laughs> yep yeah. Oh. Welsh? What'd you say? <laughs> orange cat. Oh, orange cat. Yeah. Like like Hobbs. <laughs> How old is the cat? Uh, like eight. So oh, he's so an older she, cat. He, she. I just adopted him. Okay, so he's cat. got plenty of time. Is that all? Hey, we'll see. I, the the they say like nine to twelve years, but but they live a lot longer than that. Like nine to yeah. twelve. Cats and like we're torn yeah. Serbia. Than I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Cats live forever, like yeah. sixteen years and shit. Look yeah. at that. Andrew's got that chihuahua that's like pushing uh, 16. It's got a drain in the back of its neck. It's oh, still crazy. Right. Andrew, we saw Andrew's chihuahua today. Was attacked by a raccoon. Yeah. Horribly mauled Ma by a raccoon. Yeah. Drain in the neck. What was the cat? What's the dog doing outside? Um, no, 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 no. The raccoon was trying to get in their house and was completely unfazed by Andrew, who was like charging it. And yeah, fat, wild, rabid raccoon and a family. Uh huh. In the heart of West Hollywood, Vaseline Alley. Honestly, he got off early. Or he got off easy. <laughs> well, he got off early. He came. You know what he did? He nutted all over that raccoon. He got off easy. He lives, I don't want to say what street, but that street he lives on is where also people just walk in your house. Oh, Mary. He, naked, tweaking. Yeah, so he, t every time he walks from his, I didn't walk down that street, but um, uh, he walks uh, to the studio, which is a, a couple blocks up. And he always gets propositioned. It could be that he is always nearly nude, glistening with sweat, long uh, 
Countess Luann hair, half hard, uh, half hard, huge butt. Uh, uh, yeah, uh. giant pecs and all that. But yeah, but people like they will drive by and they'll be like, hey. You're not allowed What's to. They, they have the signs in West Hollywood that says no cruising <gasps> in those side neighborhoods. What? You've never been that? Like if you no! go south of Santa Monica, stop me. like right south of Santa Monica, all those residential areas, they have signs that says no cruising. Well, like, how do you enforce that? I d- well, the, the car know. thing cruising? is too. No, I was just saying hi. Wait a minute. Cruising like driving? Yeah, I don't like that. I mean, cruising if you're they walking. cruise control. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's like cruising and like stopping and like, I think that maybe there was just like a lot of like male prostitutes or something hanging out. Well, yeah, because they, I think they convince him for being one all the time and they, they'll, they'll like He's sending follow signals. him. He's they'll sending... follow him around the block. They'll like pass him, then like do a Yui, come back. It's too much. That's what the. <laughs> that's that's what the chasers used to do outside the gay club. They drive I around. Loved they it. drive around the gay club and roll the window down this much and drive slow. Yeah, come here. Like the Daytona yeah. 500. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna yeah. I'm gonna, would, I'm gonna approach your tinted window car with the window on this much, where I don't know if there's a gun or how many people are in the car. No, I would. <laughs> and I did. And I, there was never a gun. And there was like usually just one person, except there was a dog once. But, you know. What about, we talked about this. What about when you get the ride thinking if you give the hand job or whatever, you oh, get it for and free. And then they give, they go, it's only it's 15 bucks. Yeah. I fucking blew a cat. Or no, I didn't blow him. I, um, you know, I, I gave him a gestural, um, uh, you know. You gave him the, the Jennifer Lopez experience. <laughs> <laughs> like South Park, I, I, gave, I gave him the ex girlfriend experience, <laughs> and I was like, you know, I was like, oh man, I'm trying to jerk him off because he was sniffing, sniffing hard, and he still charged me for the ride. <laughs> and my fucking, I, I mean, he's for just because he, just because he was horny, he still has to make a living. Uh, That's a really good point <laughs> when you put it that way. Yes, it is, but however, or maybe it, my, maybe, uh, do my services are they worth nothing? Uh, I was maybe, trying to make a living too. Maybe it wasn't good. <laughs> Am I 70, David? <laughs> oh my God, you're trying to tell me that my calloused, bony witch claw might not have brought him to orgasm? And knowing you, working with you, I bet there was no makeup on the hands. Of course there, there was. Red knuckles. Red, red knuckles. No, we got purple knuckles, uh, gray white uh, hands, and then rings. hair. Rings. Lots of hair. hair. Yeah, hairy knuckles. <laughs> hair and sheep rings. He yeah. probably got a rash. Yeah, he's like, um, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. So many humiliations in drag. Have you guys ever bought a hooker? <laughs> I have a question. Have you guys ever pitched things at WoW or anywhere else that you wanted to do that didn't go, that you were like, that was so cool? Mm. You know, because Owen will die someday. What do you want to do next? Well, they are doing something Well, it's like next. maybe we've pitched things. <gasps> and maybe they and did they go. they did yeah. go. And maybe you are getting fired tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I, I love the job, of course, but when we signed in for 90 episodes. Oh, it's a lot. Mary, magical thinking. It Magical thinking. felt like science fiction. It felt like in Broke Down Palace when the one girl decides to stay in the prison so the <laughs> other can leave, but neither of us left. <laughs> We're both in the prison. I'm Claire Danes and you Claire decide Danes. to stay in the prison, and I just go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we love our job, I and mean, we do want yeah. to keep doing it. Uh, but it is one of those things where we want to be able to do uh and do other new things. Yeah. And so it's always a balance of like trying to figure out. Maybe how many have we done this happen. season? I really have no idea. There's, I don't. Uh, we said, I think you, filming wise, I think you've almost filmed it. We're almost done with this season, right? We're yeah. almost at thirty. What is the season? Is 30, 30, 30 episodes. episodes. It's thirty episodes. It's three cycles of ten. That's always the case. Mm-hmm. Oh, because now I think it's ten. They take a break. Ten. They take. A, so it goes all year, sort of. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So I think we're almost done with this season. Yeah, because we it did Halloween. Fly. I mean, if that if we started six years ago, that's crazy. That's so six. Also, the different. number of episodes is crazy. When the number, how many? What are you guys on? One fifty, one sixty. It's like one sixties. Yeah, that's crazy. When you think of one hundred and sixty drag looks over the, that's how, that's uh, well, that's crazy for me. Maybe ninety. <laughs> <laughs> it's also crazy from a perspective of like, oh, what episode was that in? And then we have to go. Sift well, yeah, because it, nowadays episodes. with all the times that we repeat stories ad nauseum, <laughs> I mean, sometimes we'll. Res- repeat a story three four times and no one stops us and because no we one don't know because it we don't know the it's, thing that i love though is it's and you hit the same beats and the same jokes <laughs> <laughs> well that's it. a good sign maybe a, a, a good bad news good is um you're uh you're on the right track comedic yeah, wise exactly. but you also have dementia <laughs> yeah well, also it's clear that we not only repeat stories we don't, we don't listen, listen to each, each other because <laughs> like, have I ever told you this no <laughs> yeah, like, both of you it? are just it's the first time you ever heard it <laughs> goldfish brain goldfish brain screen wipe but I think that's an asset yeah it is and sometimes like because everybody knows we don't really hang out in real life we mm. only talk here in yeah. our camera so sometimes we'll you know I don't know 
Maybe we should stick to more topical things. We're always telling stories from like a decade ago. We're well, never no telling stories from like this year. Because nothing happened to me this year. I got an electric bike. That's it. There's nothing else to talk about. Mayor of East Town. for months. I could talk about the mayor of East Town for three episodes. I do like when we can make jokes about the fact that you've told the jokes I, Yeah, well, yeah. You seem to have a lot of fun with that, Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> Last night I laid in bed and thought about watching The Handmaid's Tale. That's the closest I've come to watching television in a while. Oh, my God. Well, you don't count Real Housewives of Television? Oh, that's homework. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I, I sometimes put it on, but is that really television? Like a real series like that? Like a Oh, real... you mean like a scripted thing? Yeah. Okay. I don't really watch anything like that. What's but... the last amazing scripted series you watched? Um, if you well, it's uh, why women kill. Is that good? It's campy oh, as hell. Okay. It's so campy. A lot of uh, male nudity in that. Um, there's like a lot of uh, male icon, eye candy. Eye candy. <laughs> there's I a lot of male eye candy. <laughs> uh, but no, nothing. Uh, there's maybe a butt shot or something. Mm. Yeah. We should do an episode of uh, that's not really on a topic, but that's just midsummer related. Um, where we the, the movie that summer yeah where you just set yourselves on fire no 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 <laughs> where we um I jump from the thing oh <laughs> break one leg and you were to come with I, the mallet yes yeah I honestly like I rewatched it yesterday incredible. I have no issue living in a society where at an age you jump I have no 72. issue seventy two let's wrap it up with dignity and some you know what I mean well maybe 72 not dignity seventy two is fine yeah it's incredible. Who's that? I mean, I guess like Betty White is doing shit at 90, but like who's hitting their stride? There's only three people really Betty getting White, it. Betty White, we haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, she could be dead right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> My friend was on Hot in Cleveland a couple of years ago, and he said that there was like, he's like, there was just a group of handlers like making sure she stayed alive. Just like, how are you, Betty? Do you need, here's your medication. Here's your like, just like. <laughs> Oxygen. Oh my God. That ventilator. Yeah, at. yeah, yeah. I would rather just, I want to do that thing. I want to cut the hands, you know, uh, slide my things on the rune slab and then just plus they're all what i didn't like about that movie is you're gonna go jump off a cliff right you're all having these dignified tiny little shot glasses of booze i'm like if we're jumping mary yeah beer bong like let's do this <laughs> i'm not doing a, a thimble of mm, juniper mm. no i want like <laughs> you jump with the well, beer was all like, yeah. Yeah. tripping was but it like you think they, they i think they were i think they were but they were turned turned in some way yeah to jump I think they were turned. Yeah, everybody gets turned before a ritual in that movie. They drink a little. Like acid, whatever that acid stuff. Yeah, or the, yeah. they're butt yeah. chugging. Yeah, they're butt chugging es a mescaline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's take another break. Yeah, let's take a break. If you're carrying a credit card balance month after month, it can feel like you're in a never ending cycle of debt. Upstart can help you make that final payment so you can get ahead. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment. Unlike other lenders, Upstart considers your income and current employment to find you a smarter rate for your loan. With a five minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans between $1,000 and $50,000. You can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. I, for one, was terrified of low credit scores and all that that entails, um, but Upstart can help you regain your footing and get things back on track. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash bald. That's upstart.com slash bald. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Go to upstart.com slash bald. You know how some people say, imagine everyone in their underwear to make you feel more comfortable? As if imagining a room full of strangers down to their skivvies is what makes us comfortable? Yeah, no. MeUndies believes comfort does not start with imagining. It instead starts with actual comfort. That's why they make the softest undies and fun prints to help you feel comfortable at your core. So you can take on anything. Mama. Tell me. They don't just make underwear. The pajama pants. Oh. The thinnest, stretchiest, softest, not too hot. Not too cold. Mm. I wear them almost every night. It's so night. good for sleepy. It's so, I wear them every night. So and I don't even sleep. wash them. They're going to be my new airplane outfit. Ooh, sleep suit. Yeah. Which is like a sleep suit. Sleep suit. I also like it because I'm not very adventurous with underwear and nor do I plan to be. Mm. And there's plenty of really plain designs. Yeah. Which Simple. I human Classic. As a yes, I'm not trying to be fancy. But when I am trying to be fancy, I do have a few now because uh, MeUndies helps me get out of my comfort zone a little bit. And they're just so comfortable. 
The waistband is has plenty of stretch, the legs. Me on these designs limited edition prints, like all the times, so you can express yourself every single day. Building your undie collection and picking out which lucky pair gets to meet your butt for the day has never been so fun. Choose prints with corgis, chicken nuggets, your zodiac sign, goofy puns, and more. Me Undies also releases collabs with some pretty big names like the Rolling Stones and Space Jam, A New Legacy. But you have to grab them fast because once they're gone, they're gone for good. Cue the saddest violin. Me Undies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first time purchasers, you get 15% off and free shipping. Me Undies also has their problem free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, they'll refund or exchange it. No caveats, no questions. To get 15% off your first order, free shipping, and 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash bald. That's MeUndies.com slash bald. Aquafina is Nora from Queens on Comedy Central is back. And spoiler alert, this season hits different. Now an even later 20-something still living with her dad and grandma, Nora is right at home and back on her hustle. Whether she's siphoning gas, getting electrocuted, inadvertently joining a cult, or just trying to sell dank bud on the side, Nora's growing into adulthood one embarrassing misadventure at a time. That's probably why Nylon describes Aquafina is Nora from Queens as some truly relatable content. And why BuzzFeed calls it an absolute gem of a show that is 100% worth watching. So don't miss the new season starring Aquafina, Bowen Yang, B.D. Wong, Lori Tan Chin, and guest starring Michelle Buteau, Haley Joe Osment, Fortune Feimster, Jabuki Young White, Chloe Feynman, and Jennifer Esposito, to name but a few. Aquafina is Nora from Queens. New season premieres Wednesday, August 18th at 10, 9 central on Comedy Central. Don't sleep on it, even though that's totally what Nora would do. I loved that movie. It's it fantastic. got me together. It's one of my all time. Both favorites. of the, his movies are so yeah. hereditary. hereditary. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. Yeah. Wait, wait. Did you see the one where the the, 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 the his his short film? No, no. Oh, Mary Dugan. Okay. Nine, the that's music video called. for Nine One One. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ari Aster. Uh, I, he in college, perhaps, or film school. He directed a short film where it's this like middle class black family, and the secret is the son rapes the father. At his, so it starts at the wedding. The son gets married, and it's you see the the father is forced to blow. It's yeah, it's a blowjob thing. <laughs> so basically, he goes through his whole life raping the dad. Oh, so it's like an ongoing thing. Oh yeah. So it and then it, I think it starts at the wedding uh, reception. The the son's getting married to a woman, and um, but they have this little secret, and the the son continuously ancestrally rapes the dad, and the dad is like trying to. Um, like tell people about it. I think he's writing like a screenplay or something. The child, the kid finds it and then I think everybody dies at the end. I've never heard of this. No, it's not very well known. I watched it um, and I was like, holy fucking shit. How do you get I from think... that to everybody dies? How did they all die? Oh, well, so, okay, so um, spoilers, but like the, there's a, he runs outside and gets hit by a car. I think the mom, um, I think the mom finds out, and I think maybe he kills the mom too, the son. I was originally the pilot for Murphy Brown. <laughs> yeah. It was like verbatim. <laughs> for Party of Five. <laughs> yeah. It was Cheers. Yeah. It was called Queers. I mean, it was, it's wild. It's wild. Also, I don't understand the logistics of, I mean, we don't have to get into like the logistics of rape, I suppose, but um, blowing a man that does not want to be blown, how does that work? Oh, just sucking on a noodle. Sorry, is it too I don't much? know. I don't know. I've I've luckily haven't been in that situation in a long time. <laughs> but yeah. but anyways, that movie was wild, or the short film was wild. You should watch it. I don't think so. I who likes? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your favorite <laughs> restaurant? <laughs> These are the fun stories that don't make yeah, it. Into yeah, yeah, I know. Ronald, we have to we have to focus on you for the majority of this episode. <laughs> okay. Okay. This so, side of the room um, is done. Yeah, yeah. We've had this enough. Is done. We're talking about porn. We're talking about. I'm afraid I don't have many stories from my. Time it's okay. In porn. I have a questionnaire for you. Is that okay? okay? Yeah. What's a sound that you love? Oh fuck! Uh, not that. Not that one. Um. <sighs> Okay, actually, I do have. I got this button, this plastic button of you guys saying "uh," <laughs> and they prototyped it for DragCon, and the speaker is so bad that it just sounds like garbled dr- digital droning. 
<laughs> and whenever I need to cheer myself up, I press the button and just like relish the fact that it was too bad to be and sold. And it's just like, uh, yeah. Yeah. it just sounds like you guys are like being murdered. Like, yeah. like a snuff film of you two being murdered. Yeah, because it's like I'm one of the that. Kind. Yeah. yeah. I wish <laughs> I brought it with me. What's the sound that you hate? Uh, chair scratching on the floor. Mm-hmm. <gasps> mm. Yeah, especially because I, I just moved into a new apartment with new mm. floors. And... You know what I hate? People who uh, uh, teeth on the fork, put the fork in the mouth, bite yep. the fork, mm. pull it out. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Do you bite ice cream? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking <laughs> about. Of course. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you can't just lick it the whole time. No, I th- I mostly just lick it. Are you mostly a licker? Because I'm a not, I like an ice cream cone more than like an. Oh bowl. no, mama! I when I get that chew cone, it. I bite the shit out of it. Oh, I thing. bite the hell out Doesn't of it. Doesn't it hurt your teeth? No. Your teeth? <laughs> See, my teeth are too <laughs> no. sensitive. I get no. it on the spoon and I bite it. No, I bite it. <laughs> Last night I got a little turned, <laughs> and I ordered two pints of Ben and Jerry's to my house, and what I flavor? ate half of each. It's about oh. a thousand calories. No. I'll house a pint like that. The ice cream you made, the peanut butter ice cream, is like some of the best ice cream I've ever had. Oh my God. My ice cream career was short lived and there was some highs and some lows. I gave you an incredible batch and I gave her a bad batch. Oh my God. It was like a, <laughs> like a bag of like nasty strawberry yogurt. Yeah, uh, strawberry I tried to yogurt. Make it custard. Yeah. And it had too much egg in it. It was just yeah. like eggy. It was I was weird. still looking forward to it. I'm a big ice cream lover. I, I said, Mary, this is rotten. But I made yeah. him chocolate peanut butter ice cream and that was lit. Was what's, so the, what's the calorie percentage compared to Ben and Jerry's on that? Any idea? Yeah, and, well, Ben and Jerry's is similar to like homemade ice cream in that it's like a high milk fat content. Okay. Because did you know that if something has less than 10% milk fat, it's not legally called ice cream? So when you go to the grocery store and you buy like a giant thing of ice cream, it'll be called frozen dairy treat and stuff like that. Frozen dairy treat. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Also, when you make ice cream, a lot of it is whipping air into it to create like bubbles in the fat globules. So a lot of times like the giant gallon bucket of ice cream is the same weight as the tiny fancy ice cream. It just is filled with air. Isn't that interesting? That's, yeah, that's like how that's Subway wrong. can't call their bread bread anymore. What? You know There's like not enough actual bread in it. That, what like, is they it? legally can't call it Newspaper bread. Newspaper clippings? <laughs> like what, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is I don't it? know. Because <laughs> well, there's, there's like the... so much sugar and like preservatives and stuff in it. It's like not really bread. There's been all the controversy about this Subway tuna, right? Where it's like. Uh, well, come on. I mean, it's just like f- fish like paste. I mean, if you're going to Subway, getting the tuna. Yeah, you got it. Isn't it like imitation crab where it's like fake crab that's just flavored with like a teeny percent of real crab? I, uh, <laughs> that's why we don't need to eat seafood. No, seafood. I do not fuck with seafood, especially, I mean, I'm a vegetarian, but also I do not fuck with seafood. I work in P-Town and people are there, you crack it into a fucking lobster. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Why don't you just go in the, like in an alley in Manhattan, get a large rat, and then just like saute that and eat it? <laughs> oh, you have to crack the exoskeleton to suck out the white. <laughs> do you eat lobster? It's a lot of work, but I like lobster. Clam, yeah. hard shell crabs. Yeah. 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 Baltimore, we have cra- we we do crabs. Crabs. Yeah. We do have crabs. I one time saw somebody had a plastic bib on with a lobster that said, "Let's get cracking." <laughs> <laughs> you do mussels. Or, yeah. Uh, yeah, mussels. Uh, you fuck oysters. With all of it, don't you? Yeah, there is some like fishy fish I don't love. Like, Such as? Tilapia, what? I think. Hysterical that Gia named herself after literally the cheapest, smelliest fish. Is it? Yes, cheap. Like fresh tilapia. It's like like maybe caviar is a better reference. You know, like yeah. it, tilapia is like, um, I'm like, like a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> literally. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's like cheap, shitty fish. Wow. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Um, mussels, clams, crabs, uh, octopus. Y'all yeah. got cars? Yeah. What do you drive? Damn. I drive like a 2015 Honda Fit. Is that the square one? It's a hatchback. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, it means it doesn't have like a regular trunk. It like, it's kind of boxy and the back lifts up so you can s- slide a bunch of stuff from Ikea. The back is a hatch. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Not yeah. a hunchback. Um, the what, hatchback what you, of Notre Dame. Yeah. The hatchback. <laughs> I have a 2010 Honda Civic. Replaced my last one. I crashed on the 101. Oh my god! Flipped. Oh. Flipped multiple times. Were you okay? Tokyo Drift. Somehow, he yeah. That's why I only will get a Honda. He died. <laughs> yeah. It's like, Ron said he died. <laughs> <laughs> this is all sawdust. He died on the. He died on the table. No, a guy tried to, like, get off an exit early, and I and I literally turn and just see a car coming straight towards me on the Mary. 101, and I went and turned to get out of the way and just missed it. 
but I had to turn so hard it r- flipped my car and I just was rolling and I thought I was rolling into the traffic but I was just rolling on the shoulder and if I rolled into the traffic I would have died mm-hmm. but luckily I didn't could have died and either I, it was way. the thing where I was just upside down like on a then, roller coaster yeah and all the glass had shattered and so then I was just hanging there but I was like oh I'm okay and then I like like upside down like put it in neutral and got my keys out and then I like crawled out and then all these people were like he's alive <laughs> and I'm like I'm okay I'm okay and this person's like you have blood pouring down your face oh my <laughs> god I like, oh. Jesus Christ I'm alive I love you yeah. stepping out of yeah. that rubble yeah. like I have hey. no arms. Yeah, I'm a like, bad bitch. Y'all can't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> but then he, uh, I what was about the guy who d- the did he get away scot free? Yeah, they oh, tried. To, no one got his uh, unbelievable. License plate. But I was I was uh, kind of gay bashed by the by the paramedic and the police and the firemen. Excuse me, what now? What were you going to some kind of cock sucking <laughs> conference? Yes. Yeah. Well, kind of because. <laughs> They found in my bag, they were just looking to see if I was on drugs, oh. and they found a flyer for this old gay bar that closed down in Silver Lake called MJ's with like a hot naked guy, and they were all like, oh. Oh, you must, you must be on meth and heroin this and crack. This is what you like, huh? Oh, look, and they were passing it around and laughing at me while I was like in a gurney. Excuse me, what? This is yeah. fucking crazy. Isn't that, that crazy? That is, I mean, you didn't hit the person. If you no, were like the, no. the the perpetrator in a vehicular manslaughter or something, I can see maybe razzing the razzing the perp on the ambulance ride. Yeah. The you know problem I mean? is I would be the perp. I'd be like, if I got like in a traffic stop and I wasn't drinking or anything, it was like, oh, you're on a fender bender. Where were you coming from? I was like, oh, I was coming from a hot dog Sundays with Mario Diaz at <laughs> LC. <laughs> Night's called Big Fat Dick. Oh, <laughs> if you need proof that I was there, I have videos of someone blowing me. <laughs> oh. But it was uh, the funny thing is after I went to the hospital and then they're like, oh, you're fine. But they gave me like some pain medication. I was so high taking like the Uber back. And in the Uber, they were like, traffic's a mess from an accident on the 101. And I just went, that's me. It was me. <laughs> and the driver's like, what? Like, like, your fit, like it was your song playing on the radio. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like in that thing you do. You're like, oh, my God. Uh, my big moment. I was on the news two days ago. Yesterday. I was on the news yesterday. Local Los Angeles news. For what? Because I went to brunch and they said, the camera person was like, hi, can we? Oh, they have a microphone. <laughs> They're like, hi, uh, restaurants are requiring vaccination cards. Do you want to talk about it? And I said, no, I can't talk about it. Uh, no, thank you. And so I gave no comment. But then they filmed me showing my cards. So they're like, Los Angeles residents showing their vax cards. And it cuts to faggy ass me, <laughs> bald in a button up floral shirt, showing my card like. <laughs> <laughs> so people were texting me like, are you on the news? And I'm like, oh, no. On the, like, KTLA local yes. news? Wow. So if you see a white ball faggot showing their backs card from three days ago, it was me. I was doing a TikTok <laughs> dance. <laughs> yeah. I was doing the say-so dance. What? Well, I don't even know how it goes. It's like... Do you think we should just exclusively um, transition to TikTok informational yeah. dancing videos on mm-hmm. uh? Yeah. I'm actually editing one, like, before I came over here. Yeah. You were doing, like, five ways to tell if your daughter's on drugs. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's so it's bad. Easy. Well, we were obsessed with these people doing TikTok dances. Who it's like ten ways to know that your body's decomposing, yeah. and they're like smiling, dancing, but yeah. it's like horrible yeah. shit. Yeah, your dog has worms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's so crazy. Yeah, but I do. I did get a kick out of the nurses who are like doing whatever uh, latest challenge in front of their like dying patients or corpses. <laughs> you know, in the morgue. Yeah, but things you need to know about working in the ER. <laughs> Get used to piss. <laughs> Blood everywhere. Yeah. Smell the shit. Don't let it get you down. <laughs> yeah. Well. Oh my god. Do you want these horse to follow you guys or not? Yes, please. Be careful what you re- wish for. You know the people that watch. Uh, you know they're unhinged. Yeah. <laughs> I'm used to it. Yeah. Are you unhinged? I am. Yeah. yeah. Do you like it? Eh, that's fine. Yeah. Me too. I like Bumble. Mostly. What's up with Bumble? Straights only? I don't know how the gender dynamics work. Um, cause I know that women have to message first, like you swipe and match and then women message first. That's nice, right? It's like Sadie oh. Hawkins. Yeah. You're like, if no one messages me, it's not my responsibility. It probably doesn't surprise anyone that like, I hate messaging first. I like overthink it. I get anxious. What? Uh, With your outrageously gregarious and outgoing personality that <laughs> yeah. borders on obnoxious yeah. every time. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it's great that, you know, they have to go first. Yeah. Well, I think it's good to always hit the ground running. Hi is nothing. Hello. That is, you might yeah. as well say nothing. Yeah. Open with something memorable, 
uh, like that draws you in. My grandmother just passed. Weirdest <laughs> thing, we can't find her body. <laughs> Sets you up for like a. Or never works. Do you like airports? I like airports. No, that sounds that? that sounds like Tom Hanks. <laughs> Tom Hanks in that movie. I said that you read that comment on for my OK Cupid when I let you into my messages. That's right. You yeah. Said, Do you like airports? Well, well, like I weirdly love them. She said in her profile that she liked airports. So I was. What about <laughs> how, about, how about this one? You I'm know, glad I'm getting haze for this twice. <laughs> Airplane takeoffs can be really impressive. <laughs> you know what? There is magical something magical. If you ever flown with someone who's flown for the first time. Watch their face as the plane <laughs> takes off. Especially if they get the ears thing. Oh. It is chilling. When you're on the plane, and they send you these, a person yeah. who's ever on a plane is like, oh, we're dying. Yeah. First time I was in an international flight, I got so bad, the um, the ear pressure. So bad. You started screaming? Scream crying. No, you didn't. I swear to God, 92 in Portugal, and then- You were 92 years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, old. <laughs> Reverse old. Bring it back. We need to do reverse old. They need to bring the Benjamin end, they Button turn to the beach. beach. <laughs> at the bring, end, bring. it's fetuses suffocating out, outside the womb. I'm going to tell you this. No the spoilers. End, Mary, listen. They, these two kids, the kids are six and seven, went uh, into a tent, went through puberty in the tent, fucked in the tent, came back. When they came out five minutes later, she's uh, five months pregnant. Are they brother and sister? No, 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 no. Oh, my no, God. No, 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 no. They came out. Five months pregnant. So that means they, and so they're adults and they still don't like know how to read or anything. Uh, <laughs> well, the kid was annoyingly precocious. So like, um, but then they had the baby, left it, uh, left it unattended for one minute, dead. And then the baby is wrapped up, like wrapped up, bag of bones, sandy bones. Sick Sandy bones, yeah. <laughs> I gotta watch this movie. Uh, you will love it. I'm gonna you love it. You will love it. It's fucking rotten. The script should never have been greenlit. I'm ready. It's so bad. You know, I, 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 how do you feel when people are constantly tagging you in the the billboards of the well, woman? Well, now with I bone don't legs? mind, but like I mean, it's you know, having seen it, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. But they, this woman has a tumor, benign tumor. All of a sudden, oh my god, it's a baseball. Oh wait, it's a cantaloupe. You know what? Grab that pocket knife. We gotta cut it out of her right now. They cut it out. Oh, the, the wound closed up. Cut it out again. Pull the flesh open. Keep it open. They dig this thing out that's the size of a fucking watermelon. And it just goes, oh, I'm awake. Fierce. It's so bad. It's so, so bad. I love it. I can't wait to watch it. You're going you're gonna to love it. Okay. Where can they find you, children? I'm uh, at Art of Watt, A-R-T-O-F-W-O-T on Twitter and Instagram. Mm -hmm. And on TikTok? Sure. I haven't posted anything on TikTok. I you always, have one? I always think, yeah, but I have nothing on Let's it. Let's get it cracking. I should. You gotta talk to this one, the CEO of TikTok Mama. over here. Listen, you need any pointers? I'm I'm right in on the ground floor. Okay. I'll get you. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Do you follow her TikTok? Yeah, I do. I love the like stuff. I love the, like, you stuff. love all the sex content? Yeah. 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 I told you about the dream I had where it was like you a video did. game and every step you took in the video game you kicked off a leg and then legs just kept multiplying and filling up the level until it was just full of legs. That's gonna be my movie, Leg. <laughs> <laughs> it's an island where legs keep shooting off oh, your body. And the best part is the, the like publisher was like, oh, the game's broken. And I was like, no, mm, this is this hard. Is it's working yeah. just fine. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you? You can find me at uh, Evil Jeff on Instagram and The Evil Jeff on Twitter. Cool. I love it. No TikTok, huh? I, once I I don't post anything. I just yeah. skulk. Yeah. Work. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us for another episode of The Bald and the Beautiful. And thank you to our special guests for coming here today. Woo! Yay! And congratulations on those streamies. They'll be in the mail. By 27. Maybe. Yeah. I cannot 2027. believe it. Although, but we both moved. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So oh, none they're... of you can complain about missing awards. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Would you live in a TikTok house with us? A content house? With you two, yes. Mm -hmm. Anyone else, no. Okay. Content house. Content house. What about, it's like mansions that people like spray paint the TikTok logo on, right? Yeah, it's just like, it, it's just like a, um, is the TikTok house the modern version of like a literary a salon? A sorority. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh. Uh, stay tuned for another episode of The Bald and the Beautiful coming at you fast and wet and hot soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah! Yeah! Show us your clam! <laughs>
Thank you.